talking to myself, NVC, and I just thought I'd give DJ Shrew a little bit of help on his Badlands um, sort of basic rollout and intermediate advanced rollout tutorials that he's started to do. Um, a lot of what he says is correct, but uh, some of it not not so perfect. So let's just start off with the scout left rollout um, drop down early on. You want to get the fastest route to middle so you uh, avoid as much damage as possible. My brother's asking me if I want food. I'm actually going to tell him that now. Um, um, no thanks. Actually, maybe if there's any juice on offer. There we go. Um, so yeah, Scout's got to middle left side. Oh wow, that's a big mess. Fuck it. Scout's got to left uh, pretty quick. His basic goal is to stay alive and take as le least amount of damage as possible whilst blocking any scouts coming out of there or jumping to here or the demo man trying to put stickies onto the the our demo man or the Solly's jumping. So he's got quite a lot to do. Uh, quite a lot to do. Um, but you know, not impossible. So, you know, if you can get onto train as the sickies come over, you can uh, watch for scouts coming here or scouts coming out here. If you can't get onto train, you can sit back here and just do damage when the scout comes. A lot of scouts sit here, but I like to come around and prove fire if I'm coming out of house. So, mix it up a bit and stand, you know, around about you know, a bit further out. Um, or if you get an opportunity, push straight across the point and put damage onto the demo man if you can. But could be very risky because if a scout comes out of house and jumps onto here or comes out of here, you're going to take a base load of uh, shotgun. So just stay back and just make sure you're the one in the advantage because you're the one just putting damage onto a scout that's moving, whereas he's having to put damage onto you whilst he's moving, and that's always a lot more difficult. Um, so, so yeah, that's this scout's job. Um, meanwhile, the other scout, if I uh, actually I can just kill my no, I can't. I'm just going to run back. Uh, meanwhile, the other scout would again have dropped down from here, come all the way around here. Da -da -da, not go on there, because going out of house is uh, basically going to kill you because stickies will come over here really early. Um, see, he's coming up through here. You can see the scout coming here. You can also see the scout coming here. That will also help this scout out in determining what he does on the point because he knows if there's a scout coming shit house and whether he can effectively push over here without having to worry about a scout coming behind. Or he knows if he can, you know, come onto the train, you know, without a scout peeking him and having to watch, you know, three different directions. So he needs to be making this cool, very important move for the scout. Sometimes he may even come, have to come further if you see, see a scout's coming. Um, so yeah, that's his job. If he gets an opportunity and the stickies are, the demo's busy, you can come onto point, put a couple of damage onto the shotgun. What I like to do is to come onto point and then just jump and land on the floor again. Um, but he has to be aware of the scout also that's come up the ramp or where he's coming underneath. If he's come up the ramp, you then again have to adjust your play. You know, if there's a scout over here. You seem to constantly put damage onto him. You will do around about 40 from this distance, so not the end of the world. Um, also, if a scout comes from here, but most importantly, you may need support if a scout's doing a lot of damage, and that's where the solid comes in. If the solid comes through, he's going to send a rocket underneath. That's going to support your push. So, what you're effectively doing by standing over here is baiting a scout to push underneath. In which case, the rocket's going to hit him. You're going to be able to put in not just one meat shot, but potentially one meat shot and the killing blow. So that's always great to see. Um, when the solids jump. You need, you're in a good position to hit the solids as they come over, but very important not to come back up here because of stickies from the demo man. 100% of the time will be here, or rockets flying over if they see you falling back. Um, if you come underneath early and you do a lot of damage to the scout, you can call that. If you don't kill the scout, it still gives our solids a good opportunity to go aggressive because it's not your goal to kill things on this middle point. It's your goal to make them fall back so you can cap it. And capping middle badlands is always a good advantage, especially if their medic also has Uber and you have Uber, and it's not one-sided to them against you because then you can bait them in to jump, and uh, then you can come in afterwards with your Uber. Um, so yeah, that's the goal of scout for middle: uh, to stay alive, do as much damage as possible, and when the moment's right, flank them and do as much damage as possible. So come in. Or well, the scout can just come up straight across the point and just do damage as they're falling back. If you catch them early and they're only here when you get to here, and you know there's nothing in house. Come around here. 
if you've got early spawn kills and you know they're coming, what I like to then do is to come up here and sit in this corner, hit the scatter to drop out, then drop straight down and support the medic. If you uh, are not sure about that, come underneath, crouch as you hit this bit, stay here, wait till you get a good chance on the medic as the solos jump round and boom, whack them. Maybe it'll have to be straight away, maybe not. But yeah, let's just assume you've got middle and their medic's alive. What will you do then? Well, uh, firstly you're going to hold. So you can have one scout here. You can have one scout on here. That means you cover this place, this place, and the scout can drop down and support you if need. Or the scout can then just survive, maybe drop into the bushes, they push in. Remember, you have to keep your scouts alive the longest. You don't want them to go in first against a new because they will die. Lowest amount of health and all of that. Um, alternatively, you can have, as I said, just one scout in here, in this bush here, I'm just baiting. Uh, so when they push in, they're going to Uber in. Every, every one of these fallen out. Meanwhile, you've maybe caught a scout coming underneath, which your soldiers can deal with. Or oh, the scout's seen you, and then, you, you end up, then you're pretty screwed. But then you just need to try and fall back. So as, as quick as possible, the solids will be able to fire rockets underneath to support. Um, so, so yeah, that's your second holding. Um, I wouldn't really advise baiting. Some people s baiting like this. Some people seem to come up on here. But what good is this when you can't see what the fuck is going on? It's not really good. You need to at least have eyes on what's going on, not rely on other people's comms. Um, so let's, take, let's say you've killed, you've ki got middle. You force the medic really back, and you're in a position where they've got a couple down. The medic's still up, but you feel like you can push. Either quickly send one scout around the back and to kill the mech as you're coming around, or just do a sound of push so one scout will come out of here watching out for any stickies in the rock behind here, behind here, on here, here, whatever. One scout's going to try and come on to get onto the point or whatever the hell he wants to do. Don't go straight onto the point unless it's clear. What I like to do is to come back. If it's clear I can go straight on. If it's not, I can either drop down and do whatever hell I like, or I can drop and jump onto the point. Uh, meanwhile, you've got one scout on here, he's watching here, and you can also call if a scout's going to come around here and go the health pack. If he gets a good shot, he can maybe get the second before he picks up the health pack. But either way, what I like to do is just to back off a little bit and just make sure I can just see if he's going to come and then fall back. Um, again, there's no point challenging the scouts that we supply. If you challenge the scouts, you're going up against ulti uh, what is ultimately uh, an invulnerable scout. He's got a health pack in there. Unless, of course, you send a Solly to help you out early on, but really that's a waste most of the time you can do it but I wouldn't really recommend it if you're lower tier just uh, instead have one scout watch behind your solly and your medic on the point here this solly and medic is watching here so if the scout does go all the way around solly can call it this scout can then fall back from here to help out or alternatively you know if the scout comes around this way can fall back the solly will help out there or if the scout decided to push stone bridge, the scout can drop down, call the solly to watch it, push onto middle here, and the scout that was on the point can also, or the sollies that are on the point can also come down. I, I'd recommend just trying to keep a scout on here if you can, just to cap it out. Uh, when it's about 90%, your medics will then push down here. Your scouts will then go up top lobby to secure. You know, be careful when you're coming out, but he needs to check for stickers there and there. Then he needs to check for stickers here, stickers here, and you know, stickers here. Um, once that's clear, you know, the heavies will come in, set up. Meanwhile, this scout will then take up position here. Maybe a solly, depends what you want to do as your team. Um, another scout will be watching main. Calls for any snipers dropping. He can also watch anything coming out, see any spies that haven't decloaked early on, any pyros, any heavies on the point, whatever the hell you want to do. You can maybe come down here and just check what's going on up there. But again, scouts, look how far back we're sitting. We're not pushing in, we're not doing anything. Um, occasionally, if you feel lucky and you're up here as a scout, and you see them pretty far back, you can come on this side, push in, and literally go for a quick kill and fall out main. But remember, that's the combination of things. It's a combination of no stickies being here. You can get unlucky, but sacrificing one scout is not a big deal. He will spawn back in time for your push. This is assuming both medics are even on Uber. Um, so yeah, you know, come in. Literally, and go for a quick. Maybe you can kill the medic. Maybe not. Maybe it gives you a good opportunity to then push in if you uh, do a lot of damage and the medic is not falling back in. You know, it just depends. But ultimately, I like to keep my scout on the scouts alive. So over there and over there. Um, when it's ready to push in, one scout 
doesn't matter which one, um, will be pushing in top right, but not straight away because of stickies. So what will usually happen is you'll send a Sollies in main, one Solly will go left, one Solly will go right. The Solly go right is your sacrifice Solly, doesn't matter if he dies, what matters is that he does damage, makes the demo blow as many stickies as possible. That allows your scab to come in and do even more damage and set up a flanking. So not only do they have to worry about these two doors, but they have to worry about up here and they have to worry about here. So it basically draws attention to so many positions. Um, or if the scout over here, instead of going up here, he sees everybody drop down. He can come in over this way. Don't take any shots unless he sees a good opportunity. And just come way here and bait his team. Come in from behind. Do a lot of damage. Maybe there's a sniper. Maybe not. Maybe you're just going to wait here for as long as possible. Maybe all your team are falling out and you just want to wait here for a good opportunity to then push in. I don't know. you just got to mix it up. But you know, some, some teams will want to get the scouts on the point straight away. Personally, I like to leave the scouts to stay on the outside and just do the damage after the Ubers have been popped. Um, but yeah, now let's go into, uh, say, a, a second CP... Uh, outside holding, you know, I, I would perhaps have a scout underneath here, watching for anything dropping out. You can also, if things drop out main, you can come out here, and you know, if they drop down, kill them. If not, not. Other scouts should be on the point, maybe there, maybe on the point. Um, you saw your medic will be on the bridge here. They'll be able to get back if need be. Sitting side of spy is always awkward in case they switch to crits or anything. You have to run all the way around. So have your Solly and Medic far back. Your Dem Man can stick you up different places. And your other Solly can sit maybe there, you know. Just be in a good position to do whatever the hell he wants. Um, he can also rocket jump back if he needs to. Um, he's turning into more of an uh, entire team thing, isn't it? But uh, whatever. Let's talk about scout last position holding. You should have your demo man up here, obviously. We're in the wrong place, so I should really kill myself. Stupid me. So you should have an engineer, if you've got enough time, putting a sentry here. I'm not going to give you all the positions away, because it will ruin some of my uh, tactics. But a uh, sentry here. Have him watch this door. And then when he's ready... He could then push out, you know, but he shouldn't put, he should switch to the scout, you know, sort of the late, latest possible moment when the sentry goes down, or if they're all over the point, maybe switch to pyro. Just basically stay alive during the Ubers, distract as much attention as possible by having there and having a guy over here, um, and then, yeah, switch, switch. Alternatively, instead of having a sentry, you can switch to sniper, watch from this doorway, crouch down, hit the solids as they come in, any late Ubers. Um, again, he can then fall back. He's not overextended over here and die. He's also not down there and having to run him back up. He can just fall back in and switch. Um, and meanwhile, your other scout is just... Well, he needs to stay alive as well, really. But he can stand wherever the hell he likes. Maybe you could have an engineer and a sniper. Um, or a heavy, maybe, or a pyro. or I don't know. Anything you want. Basically, just stay alive if you're going to be a scout. Um, try not to push out too much. The demo can always have stickies around. Unless, of course, you see him, see him blow them, then maybe you could come out. But again, it's very risky. Just wait till your whole team gets two or three kills in a good position to then push out there. Medic doesn't have Uber, or you have an advantage, and then go for it. If all the team's respawning, not much point pushing second because you're going up against a team that's going to be able to then support fully, which is always difficult to cap. Either way, you need to have, as you're pushing out, at least one scout on the point at all times, trying to cap it back. Um, meanwhile, your other scout can be over here, whilst you're capping it back, just supporting. And also, if anything tries to jump, he can then come over here and do damage. If the demo is trying to stick you out, and he does successfully stick you out, which, uh, you know, it could happen, then you could always just come, you could even try, come my house, this is very risky again, but you could. Pre-fire, very important pre-firing. Just jump on medic, but alternatively, if worse comes to worse, don't be afraid to swap spawn back to last. And uh, I'm not using my script, I probably should. Like that. Um, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much Badlands as much as I can see. Uh, DJ, sure, I hope that helps. Maybe gives you some new ideas um, from what you've already.